What's going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. Today we're finally getting to try the Nami Blast. So if you've ever been curious to see what a Nami Bernie owner thinks of the Nami Blast, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. I just want to do a quick disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by Fluid Freeride or NAMI Electric. The opinions that I'm going to share in this video are my own. So with that being said, this is going to be a first impressions video uh, as the owner of the NAMI Burn E. This is not a review video because I don't feel like I have formulated enough of an opinion on the scooter because I haven't spent enough time with it. So you're probably wondering, Ivan, what is the NAMI Blast? So the NAMI Blast is the middle offering in the NAMI electric lineup. So on the smaller, more portable end of this of the company, you have the NAMI Klima. So the NAMI Klima is your a uh, 60 volt 40 mile per hour small scooter that's quite nimble and then on the upper end of things you have the nami burn e nami burn e2 and nami burn e2 max uh, those are your 72 volt monsters and it goes anywhere between 40 to 60 miles an hour depending on what you're looking to do and the blast is kind of right there in the middle with the blast you have two options uh, today we are riding the nami blast max uh, and then the other option that you have would be the nami blast so the difference between the blast and the blast max is the blast would be more equivalent to let's just say something like the nami burn e2 it's got your 60 volt system uh, 29 amp hour batteries uh, thousand watt motors that bring you up to 40 miles an hour while the blast max is something i would say more like the burn e2 max where you have a 60 volt system instead with a 40 amp hour LG batteries. So this one will give you the 50 mile per hour top speed. So the reason the Blast was designed was it's meant to be the high speed dragster of the NAMI lineup. So that means that it's meant to give you more stability on the higher end of things. Uh, that's one of the reasons why you see this signature design on the swing arm here. You have the inverted single swing arm in the front and then the traditional swing arm on the back. So we're really gonna test that out to see if that's the case because one of the things that most people experience when riding the Burn E2 and the Burn E2 Max or the Burn E is that there's a little bit of wobble and it takes some getting used to uh, riding it at high speeds. This one's supposed to be a little bit easier. So, And then another thing that helps it with its stability is its stiffer suspension. So that's one of the first things that I immediately noticed getting onto the scooter is it's pretty stiff. This one, I'm definitely feeling more of the bumps, but I'm going to see how it is as far as like high speed stability. As far as stopping power, we have the two piston hydraulic Logan brakes. So it should be plenty for this type of riding. Okay, so I just switched the scooter to eco mode and we're gonna test this out real quick. So just like the NAMI Klima, it seems that eco mode is more or less the walking mode that takes you up to nine miles an hour. Just as a heads up, this is 
these settings straight out the box. Now we're going back onto the bridge here and we're gonna try the drive setting. Drive setting is giving us a little bit more. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it's already getting us up to 27 miles an hour super quick. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. And to be honest with you, if you're using this as a commuter, this is pretty much where you're going to be the whole time. Uh, 29 to 30 miles an hour. And at these lower speeds, I haven't been able to test the stability yet. And we're just going to pretty much say it's the same thing. Even here at 30 miles an hour, I can take my hand off and it's still super stable. So that's pretty much the same as the Burn E. So we're going to pull over here once we get to the bottom of the bridge and then we're gonna to switch to sport mode. All right, so with the camera angle reset, we are on sport mode now and we are gonna test the NAMI Blast acceleration. So let's see how the dragster does. One, two, three. Oh, sh <laughs> And that's just sport mode. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Wow, so easily in the mid modes, we are at 37 miles an hour. Jeez, that was quick. <laughs> that was pretty quick guys. That was pretty quick. So it looks like the sport mode is topping at 40 miles an hour. So the sport mode on the Blast Max and the Burn E is pretty much the max for the Klima. That's pretty insane. So I switched everything to the custom setting, which is technically mode four out of five. So we're gonna see how the Blast Max accelerates in three, two, one. Holy Christ! <laughs> I was not prepared for that. Wow! Whoa! Jeez! Very stable at 45 miles an hour. And we're getting a little wet. Wow! Jeez, I was not expecting that. Holy crap. Let's try that again. I'm going to start it off a little bit more gently this time. Plant myself and then hit the throttle. Wow! Yeah, the acceleration is insane on this thing. Wow. <laughs> okay. That is definitely a NAMI product. All right, so in the custom setting mode four out of five, we were able to hit 45 miles an hour. This is finally mode five out of five and Woo! Let's see how it goes. And then afterwards, we'll turn on turbo. So, one, two, three, gentle start. Brace yourself and go. Wow! Holy Christ! Yeah, that was an easy 50 miles an hour. Easy 50. Oh my goodness. And just keep in mind, I am about 215 pounds with gear. All right, so for the last run here, we finally have the NAMI Blast Max, 80% battery, 100% output, turbo on. So, huh, I hope I'm ready for this. Three, two, one, we'll start off gently and then we'll floor this guy. Whoa, wee! Wow, holy Christ. That's fast, okay, 42. Just keep in mind, we are on an incline here and we won't get to leveling out until the top, but wow, 49, 50, 
51. 53. Holy moly. Okay, so we're gonna do that one more time. The stability on high speeds is definitely, definitely much improved. I don't even think I needed a steering damper at 53 miles an hour. Blast Max final speed run. And here we go. Three, two, one. Holy moly. 35 already. 42. Look at, look at how it's eating up these bumps at high speed. That's crazy. 47. And we're still at an incline. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 51. And we're still going. We got a little bit more. And we had 53, 53.1 miles an hour. See? And absolutely no wobbles. So I'm bringing it back down. So the one thing that I am noticing, the combination of the 60 volt uh, sine wave controller plus that max setting, it can be very jumpy. It's a bit, it's a bit quick. But, I know some people like that. Alright, so after a little bit of a break there to adjust the camera, we're heading back. So there are a few things that I did notice about the scooter so far. With the lower handlebars, I feel like it's a bit more comfortable than my Burn E. That could just be the Burn E's handlebars are quite tall and as a shorter person. Uh, to give you an idea, I'm 5'8". Uh, this is actually like a perfect height for me. The suspension is stiff. I'm feeling the bumps, but it's not as stiff as I thought it was going to be. I was thinking more like Mantis stiff or Wolf stiff, but this is very comfortable for the design and what it's intended for. And see what I mean? Uh, if you're not used to the throttle, uh, it can feel a little jumpy. But as you get used to it, I'm sure this will become more and more comfortable. I'm just not used to the thumb throttle anymore, but man, geez, the way this thing pulls is just insane. Yeah, that's, that's a heck of a scooter that they have here. And the one thing that I am noticing that I didn't notice earlier is the nose tends to dip a little bit. I don't know if that's a byproduct of the the inverted swing arm, but the nose tends to dip when I'm braking hard. That, and that could also just be because I'm, like I said, 215 pounds right now. So see what I mean? Right there. I don't experience that with my with my Bernie, so that is a new sensation for me. Let's get into a bracing position here. And we'll hit the brakes. Alright there, see? It does a little bit of a nose dip. So that's something that might be able to be corrected uh, over time, but it's, uh, I feel like it's just a little exaggerated here and something that's going to take some getting used to. And we're going to take it into some of these side streets to experience some of the <laughs> bad roads that New York City has for us here. You know, I'm still not sure how I feel about the inverted swing arm. It's definitely a striking visual, but I'm not sure if I like it yet, but that's a design aesthetic that I guess I'm just not used to. 
So the inverted swing arm may be something that just grows on me, just like the way the standard C-shaped swing arms uh, eventually grew on me on the regular scooters. But I can, I definitely get why they did it. Testing these potholes. Yeah, Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> that's definitely a test right there. I think that's, uh, you're gonna see the, the suspension working double overtime over there. So one of the things that I like with the Blast Max over the Klima is, uh, I like the wider deck here. It's not as long as the, the Burn Ease but it's plenty wide where it gives you enough room to kind of do stuff like this where as you're getting tired you may want to switch your riding position you know it gives you a lot of space to kind of move around so i really like that about the about the deck here but so far man this is a this is a fun scooter I don't know if they switch the type of CST tires that go on here compared to the Burn E, but that's a heck of a that's a heck of a big difference there. It feels as comfortable as the Klima. So technically, if I ended up with a blast, I wouldn't even change the the tires that come with it. This is this is plenty sticky, plenty soft, and plenty grippy. It's actually quite comfortable. Now, would I recommend this as a first scooter like the Klima? No, this is something a bit more advanced. If you already have a 20 to 40 mile per hour scooter and you're looking to upgrade, I think the Blast is, you know, pun intended here, an absolute blast to ride. I think you would enjoy the heck out of it and if you're looking for that high performance feel this is definitely it if you like this type of content please consider giving the video a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel if you have any questions about the burn e burn e2 burn e2 max blast blast max klima klima max or anything within that klima lineup please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. And if I don't have the answers for your questions, I'll be more than happy to refer you to a source that might be able to get you that answer. Now, if you like this type of content and you wanna see more e-scooter videos and you wanna see more e-bike videos and my recently added e-skate videos, please consider subscribing and I'd love to have you as part of the I've Been Rides family. We are 1,500 strong and we are only growing from here. So I look forward to seeing you in the comment section down below. And to wrap things up, I want to give you my final thoughts here on the, on the Blast. Do I think this scooter is for everyone? No, but there's plenty of people out there that would love this type of scooter. If you're looking for a high performance electric scooter that feels like a track car, stiff, fast as hell, strong braking, and you wanna use it as a daily driver, go right ahead. <laughs> Just know that it's gonna be a little stiff on the roads that we have here in New York. If you're looking for something that is the most comfortable thing you've ever ridden, the Blast is probably not for you. But like I said, as a person who's owned a sports car or two in his lifetime, I made those cars work for all my daily situations. Now, if you're okay with that, NAMI has a tremendous offering here in the Blast. This is definitely not going to have any problems keeping up with the group rides. So 
enjoy the heck out of it. But if that's not what you're looking for and you're looking for something that can be combined as a last mile type of solution and something that's going to be a little bit more portable, a little bit more nimble, then the Klima is probably a better option for you. But I think there's, like I said, the, the Blast is an amazing scooter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next ride. Peace out everyone and make sure you visit Fluid Free Ride.